So I've got my lathe here, there, and I want to make something. And I thought I'd make a fire piston. So this hasn't had its final finishing pass done on it. I'm going to knurl these and polish this up and make it look all schmick. But it's pretty simple. So there's this rod with a little threaded cap in there and hollow section down inside there. That, that hollow section isn't actually necessary but it's handy to have. And then this cylinder. So it's hollow through the middle. It's got a threaded section on this end, an o-ring and a little chamfer in there to trap the o-ring to squish it so it doesn't burp out. And the general principle is that you do that up real snug and you get a bit of tinder. In this case it's just a piece of paper towel that I've charred and you cram it in the end there. Cram, 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 cram. And you clean up the o-ring and then you get this and you go boom like that and it lights on fire. Because when you slam it together, god I'm glad that worked first try, you slam it together and it compresses the air and the latent heat in the air gets compacted down to a tiny volume and it gets hot enough to light the tinder. So let's do that again. Don't know why I'm tempting fate by doing it twice but... Oh! Well, it just flew off that way. But yeah, that's pretty great. And so the idea is you pack a bit of tinder wrapped up in alfoil down inside there. So you've always got some tinder on hand. And um, it's a fun little project. Um, so the only real tricky part was getting the o-ring sized correctly to fit inside the bore. Um, the first pass I did... <coughs> Is that other stuff? Might have been, maybe. Um, this was slightly too small, so as you are pushing this in, uh, you can wiggle about too much, and the o ring would sort of just twist enough to, to burp the air out and it wouldn't compress, it would just sort of fight out this end. Um, also, it was get, getting this bevel right. Bevel? Chamfer? I don't know the difference. Getting this angle on this lip right to properly trap the o-ring was also a little bit of a challenge. But yeah, so this end comes off so you can clean out inside the tube. And it also makes it pretty cool when you you do it up like this. It sort of traps the traps the piston in there. Um, so I'm reasonably happy with that. Um, so I'm going to turn that down to the same diameter as that. Um, put that same radius on there as on there, put that radius on there, um, and then probably knurl both ends, and maybe, I don't know, put some detail in the middle, or maybe I'll just shine it up real pretty. Um, so I actually cheated a little bit, um, all these threads, all the internal and external threads were tapped um, rather than cut on the lathe, um, because I don't really have a proper threading tool. All I've got is that, which is quite big for threads that small. Um, so I think oh, I cut these threads here on the lathe, but those ones were tapped um, or dyed. I don't know the term. I use that for. So just to annoy the world in general, that is a, a three-quarter inch BSP. And this one is an M8. That's what I had. Um, but yeah, the cheat I did was that um, instead of removing this whole heap of stock here, I um, well, you know, relatively whole heap. That can that layer can only do about 20 thou depth of cut in steel without complaining. Um, it's actually TIG welded in, so that that stock was from this stuff, and the big piece was from this stuff. Um, so there was less material to remove, so I just threaded a piece of that, and then tapped a hole in that, threaded them together, and then TIG welded them together. And I did the same for this thing, so you can see that's actually threaded into that block there. Um, I haven't polished that up yet, it's still got the oxidization on it. 
and there is a tiny smidgen of um, nasty weld embedded bubble there but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to stamp a hallmark on the end there and cover that up. So that's my project. Went well. God I'm glad that lit first dry. Okay bye bye.